Summer is here, so I'm sharing my top five Korean summer dishes, starting with pibimkuksu, which is spicy cold Putting some roasted sesame seeds until about half have turned into powder, then thinly slice a cucumber and set these aside. I also like to add a hard-boiled egg, but this is optional. For the sauce, combine gochujang, fine gochugaru, sugar, vinegar, well-fermented kimchi juice, sesame oil, soy sauce, garlic, and some of the crushed sesame seeds. Mix together until smooth, then add some chopped kimchi. If you don't have any well-fermented kimchi, just add a bit more soy sauce and it'll still be really good. Next, boil some thin wheat noodles for three and a half minutes. Make sure you're watching it closely because somyeon cooks very quickly and you don't want overcooked noodles. Immediately rinse well under cold water to stop the cooking and remove the starch. Now all you need to do is mix the sauce into the noodles. Use as much or as little as you like. I like mine very saucy. This dish is the perfect balance of spicy, tangy, sweet, and refreshing. And I like to top it with crushed sesame seeds, cucumber, and a hard-boiled egg.